After getting married, we moved to an old Japanese-style house. The house was well made, but it was far from the train station and is located near a graveyard. So, we were able to get it for a low price. For a manga dub and narration, stains of an old house. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe if you enjoy the video. Just like any other couple on moving day, my wife and I moved in boxes of our most prized and special possessions. That was when we noticed a strange stain on the wall. Huh? That's a weird place for a stain. It's kind of creepy too. Well, this place is old, so of course it'll be a little bit dirty. Later that night, his wife began to try to wipe the stain. That was when something strange happened. It was as if the stain itself tried to dodge the rag. That was when an eye formed within the blackness. <gasps> and a hand reached out from the void toward her. She screamed in terror, but that was when she found herself just sleeping in her bed. It was just a dream, nothing to worry about at all. Jeez, what a bizarre dream. Then, she looked up above her at the rooftop, and she saw two more of those stains. Later that day, <laughs> Dear, it's just a stain, you know. B but the dream, it was so vivid. Don't you see? Isn't there more of it now? You're just imagining it. Anyway, what are we going to do about that? Ah, that's the previous owners. It's pretty dirty, don't you think? Maybe we should just throw it away. Eve! Oh. But after having moved the artifact to the side, the wall behind revealed a gargantuan stain. The two of them together made the executive decision to call in some professional help. Ah, is that so? Please do. So? Did you properly explain it to the realtor? Yeah. He said he'll send experts right now. Experts? And just like that, a man and a woman appeared at their household. We are following a dispatch order from Kawaguchi Real Estate. The couple looked shocked from their attire. They were almost dressed up like doctors. Even so much as using stethoscopes on the wall. Hmm. They're experts, you said. Experts on what? Uh, house cleaning, I guess? Hmm, I see. These are Plane Angora. Huh? What's that? People also call them flat eels, wall eels, etc. This is quite unusual, there being so many of them appearing here. I suppose it's because there's a river on the west of a bamboo groove, right on the south, and there's even a nearby graveyard. You folks don't have to worry, they won't do you any harm, but if they're bothering you, Konishikun, get that? Yes. By sticking this on the wall, the plane Angora will manifest in three-dimensional form. Once they do, it'll be possible for us to grab and remove them. Huh? I almost fell for it. I bet you're planning to sell us that device, aren't you? You're swindlers! No, no, you misunderstand. You don't have to pay for it. Well, let's begin. Yes, Professor. And just like that, they place the device on the affected area. 
Everyone stared in awe. Then something miraculous happened. The stains began to tremble. What? The stains moved? Shh! Be quiet! <sighs> gotcha! <laughs> My, there are only big ones in here. Is this a particularly good wall for them? If you guys don't mind, may we take the ones we caught with us? They taste great if you fry them. Ugh. Hey, what's that over there? The group of them turned their attention to a nearby wall, where they saw a new stain. Much, much darker in complexion. The experts, as they called themselves, seemed in awe and shock. Professor? Uh, I have never in 40 years of my career seen a wall eel quite like this. Hmm. What is this? This can't be happening. We all stood there for a moment, trying to collect our thoughts, trying to comprehend what just happened. Immediately after that incident, we abandoned the house. Afterwards, a research institute from the government bought it from us. It seems like a team of biologists then conducted an investigation on the house. The gigantic flat eel was later introduced as a new species to the scientific community. Three years after that incident. Hey everyone, I hope you enjoyed this story. If you enjoy this sort of thing, why don't you consider subscribing to the channel? It's absolutely free and it really helps me out a lot. I would like to take this time now to give a very special thanks to James Abel, Banger Prophecy, Motosurf, Dennis Cork, and Tyrannodon Girl One. I appreciate you all so much for your kind donation and for supporting the channel as well as each and every one of you who watch and comment on the video. After all, a storyteller is nothing without someone who's willing to listen. If you enjoy this format, don't forget to let me know in the comments below or suggest other stories that you'd like to hear. Thank you very much for listening. And remember, you are important and you matter. Have a good night everyone. Goodbye.